Hi, my name's Brian. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Uh, thanks for your time. Yeah. And I have a little um, question that I couldn't know before. Uh, first one, uh, people are asking about if Lara will have any kind of backpack or back to carry the objects. And because we've seen in the gameplay as well that she's taking arrows and from the box, but it's nothing there. Uh, or she takes a torch and appears suddenly in the hand. These all these details um expected to follow is in the final game. Yeah, so the quiver will, will be in the final game. The, um, the torch we haven't decided where we're uh, more, most torches are acquired off the off the world. Uh, but there are moments where you can pull out a torch. So we have been thinking about what we want to see on Lara's body and what, what we are going to say so that it comes to the location that we don't see. But our goal is to try to make sure Lara feels uh, that the equipment that she gets will be visible. Um, but there are things, of course, like uh, uh, the artifacts that we, that we uh, collect. Those are not going to go the visible backpack. We're not, we're not supporting a backpack or the idea of a backpack in this way. Do you have a nice um, kind of merchandise or something similar for the size to the order? We're not going into a lot of details about uh, special pre order offers or anything along those lines. I know Carl has an amazing campaign. Uh, you know, we're working very closely with a lot of great partners, so I'm excited about what you know the future looks like for those who like a deeper uh, experience with in addition to their game, you know, and how they can you know, also expand on that with the uh, ancillary products, so I'm really excited about that. But we did show showcase a new toy that is coming, uh, so there's a prototype out, which you know I'm very happy with, and it seems the fans are as well, so that's great. Um, how long do you estimate to be the main story mode, and um, how long it will be like uh, with all the secret animations? Uh, so we're, we don't talk a lot about our time, and, time of uh, the journey. I think Carl's mentioned in the past we're, we're roughly about 10 hour game on the core path. Uh, for the explorer it can be many, many more hours. Uh, so uh, our goal is to make sure that the main playthrough path is a nice, strong you know, amount of time. But for those that really want to explore, we think uh, it will be well more than 10 hours. Um, we'll really have a multiplayer mode. And if yes, uh, it will be cooperative or like player versus other players? I wish I could go into details about that, but we have no other announcements other than the same player game we're doing right now. About the dubbing process in other languages, uh, including the Spanish, is it expected to have a uh, mm, future trailers to, uh, like in Underworld, when and uh, exclusive level that was going to be released, it was an expansion. Um, in what state is the development of this process of the uh, We have not started that process. I do know that we are going to have all the standard languages, um, so Spanish is definitely one of them. So I, I believe that there's uh, the support that you're accustomed to should still happen. Uh, we don't have a lot of people to stop that right now. It's in the final version of the game. Uh, will Lara's necklace uh, have uh, their own physics? Um, or will it be like, it's now what we see that it's just that's on the neck, like what happened with uh, Amanda and the previous games? It's definitely one of my goals. Uh, we're, we don't have simulations completely locked down uh, for the necklace, for the hair. All these things are still being refined. Uh, the great thing about um, uh, physics-based systems is that you don't have to animate them. And uh, as the game is being developed, we can just tune those physics as we go, and that's something that we can polish. That's definitely something that I'm going to be spending some time working on with my team. We realized that um, before in the website it uh, was a hero uh, link that harnessed it, but it suddenly disappeared. Does this mean that it's out of the partnership, or what will happen? Here? Uh, I don't know any details about that right now. Um, uh, I do know that uh, Megan, you know, we can talk. We can ask Carl that one. Yeah, I would, he, that's, that's a great one for Carl. Yeah, we can ask him that right after this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and we see in the gameplay yesterday that 
uh, Lara was getting hurt and how this uh, Lara's life uh, work? Is it like um, you have to wait some time until she recovers automatically? Or? We do have the, the concept of uh, you know, uh, health and damage in our, in our game. Uh, she will she will be hurt. We don't go into a lot of details at this point because that's you know not where we're at in the in the um, presentation materials. But uh, it, it is not um, a health pack system like the classics. It is more about regeneration. But there are there are more dimensions to that health system that I can go we can go into later at a later date. Um, another question is that uh, the collector edition when it will be released. It will be equal to all the countries, or it will be like different with each one, like it happened before with some or other games. Like, uh, for example, in one country, it doesn't have a uh, special edition or collector edition, and others yet, but they include this. That's another great question for Carl. Uh, I don't necessarily know the details on that specific question. Does uh, the detail on not just Lara, but all the secondary charts that are important in the plot, uh, are they going to have like more detailed process on it? Um, about Samantha, uh, that it appeared in the demo, uh, some people said that she was like uh, I cross or something. Yeah. Like, is some disability or is it just like something to call his game? <laughs> it was like, I saw that footage and I saw the icon, I was like, oh, I can't believe I missed that. Um, that was just an error in animation. This is this is still not the final footage. She does not have an eye cross disability. Sam does not have an eye cross disability. <laughs> Anyone out there that does have an eye cross disability, no disrespect, but Sam doesn't have one. Is in planning in future any PlayStation guitar version? We do not have any specific plans other than the three platforms that we just discussed, and uh, that's all I can say at this point. Um, it was talk uh, some time ago, like it was going to be like merchandise online, uh, so it's still for looking forward to online. So this is another great question for Carl. Uh, you know, my focus is mostly on the game itself, and uh, Carl has um, been working on a campaign for the merchandise. Um, it was, uh, I could hear that it was any plans maybe about Guardian of Light 2. Uh, if this happened, uh, it would be like the new reboot Lara on it, or it would be more like we're not discussing any sequels for Guardian of Light at this point. Uh, our our main focus right now is making sure we're launching the best Tomb Raider uh, we can, and uh, the, the future of the franchise of uh, the Guardian of Light franchise is something that uh, we're uh, you know we're very proud of that game. We think it, it, it was it turned out amazing, uh, but we're not really going into a lot of details about the future of that of that uh, Splinter you know uh, series. Um, uh, so many people are asking all the time about the dual guns. Uh, it is maybe to be like some kind of improvement to the equipment, or we will be able to use it, or is at all. We're, uh, you know, we saw a little bit of a sneak peek from the Microsoft demo that Lara just doesn't have a bow; she'll have other weapons. We featured the shotgun as one of those weapons. Uh, we're we're not going into the, um, the, all the different weapons that we can have in the game, um, but uh, you know I, I believe uh, the Tomb Raider fan is going to be very happy with the you know the weapons they get to use uh, in, in the mm -hmm. because uh, you know dual guns is always since first game like more classic and some people think that. If they remove from the game, then it's like it's losing something of the Tomb Raider style. We believe uh, Lara is the focus of Tomb Raider. It's like her character, her strength, her, um, her abilities. Uh, we focused on the bow as a signature weapon for this game because we think it fits best the survival story, and uh, it will too. You know, uh, it will it will provide Lara you know, a new suite of um, abilities, and uh, and we think that that's. The best play for this game is to feature the bow as our signature weapon, 
Um, but uh, you know, I, all I can say at this point is I think the Tour fans are very happy when it's all said and done. To do one more question. Um, is it any reason about uh, all this Xbox exclusive dice like area or something? Um, we have a fantastic relationship with Microsoft. Uh, they've been very uh, good to us. We love working with them. Uh, it is a timed exclusive, so it is something that everyone will have access to. Uh, but yeah, I think really, it, you know, it, it's uh, it's an opportunity for us to work with with uh, Microsoft on this. Uh, but that we're we are definitely a multi-platform game, and you know, Xbox, PS3, and PC are all going to get um, you know a lot of fantastic on that. Well, last for the finish. Yesterday you were talking, you were saying about uh, for to explore the island, and like we have like map or something. But is this like something from the game, or do you have to take a map, or why? How we can orientate on the island? So there will be a map that you will uh, be able to hit a button, and you'll see you know, some representation of where she is in, 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 in context to that. The reason we didn't show it at E3, we haven't uh, finished the visuals for the map. We have a very um, sort of a rough working version of that. Uh, but it will give um, the player the ability to see where, where she is, where her destinations are. And this is new for the Tomb Raider franchise, but we believe that uh, it's something that is optional and you do not have to use a map if you want. But for those that do want to use it, it will uh, it will be a nice way for you to understand a little bit more where you are in conjunction to the whole island. So it has a pretty interesting, you know, uh, function. Once once you uh, uh, you're using it, use it, uh, you won't be able to see where you have been. So there'll be parts of it that will be obscured to the player. They won't know. That they know there's something out there, but they don't know what it is. As soon as you've explored it, though, that part of the map will will illuminate, and you'll say, "Oh, this is where." This is where I am now, and it sort of gives you a, a progression of where you are started, where she, where she goes throughout the adventure. Thank you for your time. Oh, it was a pleasure. Uh, can you give uh, some greeting to the Coffee Nation fans? Yeah. yeah. My name is Brian Horton. I'm the Senior Art Director of Tomb Raider. It was great talking to you. Hope I got to answer your questions the best I could. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs>